American intelligence officials have discovered that the barrage of ballistic missiles Russia has fired into Ukraine contains a surprise. Decoys that trick air defense radars and full heat seeking missiles. The devices are about a foot long, shaped like a dart and white uh, with an uh, orange tail. According to an American intelligence official, they are released by the Iskander M short range ballistic missiles that Russia is firing from mobile launchers across the border, the official said. When the missile senses that it has been targeted by uh, air defense systems, this is the Iskander, yes, an Iskander M range ballistic missile launcher. The Russia, Russian forces have been firing such missiles from mobile launchers across across the border into Ukraine. That is that's uh, that, that's another one here, you know, that's the the Iskander mobile launcher. So each is packed with electronics and produces radio signals to jam or spoof enemy radar attempts to locate uh, the Iskander and contains a heat source to attract incoming missiles. Uh, the official, who was not authorized to speak publicly about intelligence matters, described the devices on the condition of anonymity. So this is uh, exactly what this is what we are talking about here. Russia is using secret decoy dart missiles, which they have uh, refused to disclose. Or you know, that's that's the dart-like missile. That's the one-foot-long shipped uh, missiles or devices. Okay, um, the use of the decoys may help explain why Ukrainian air defense weapons have had difficulty intercepting. Russia's Iskander missiles, powered by a solid fuel rocket motor, the Iskander can reach targets more than 200 miles away, according to U.S. government documents. Each mobile launcher can fire two Iskanders before it must be reloaded. This is the Iskander again. So photographs of the dark shade munitions began circulating on social media two weeks ago. They had uh, stomped experts and uh, open source intelligence analysts, many of whom mistook them for bomblets from cluster weapons based on their size and shape. Just one foot long, yes, you might be fooled into thinking that they are um, bomblets. Richard uh, Stevens, who spent 22 years in the British Army as an explosive ordnance disposal soldier and later worked as a civilian bomb te technician for 10 years in southern Iraq, Africa and other regions, said he had been exposed to plenty of Chinese and Russian munitions, but um, that but he had never seen that uh, he had never seen this the, this one. Okay. That's what we're talking about here. The use of decoys may point to some level of carelessness or urgency by Russian military leadership, given that Russia knows that they will inevitably be collected and studied by Western intelligence services so that NATO aid air defenses can be programmed to defeat the Iskandar's uh, countermeasures. And it is highly unlikely, he said, it's highly unlikely that a version of the Iskandar that uh, Russia has sold to other countries will contain these decoys. That suggests to me, that suggests to everybody that uh, the Russians place some value on keeping that technology close to home and that this war is important enough to them to give them um, that edge and give them grounds to probably test and see how this uh, technology is working. Because, you know, this, amongst other things, you know, every war is, every conflict is a good uh, testing ground, a good testing ground, you know, so that's what's going on, you know, um, we'll continue to update you concerning uh, what's going on between Russia and uh, Ukraine, 
So thank you very much for watching this video.